I know my hairs rarely look this good uh, on these videos, but uh, I just came back from a job interview, and you know. I gotta look good for that. But enough about that, let's talk about us. Jordan Peele's is Us is taking the world by storm. This movie, everybody's talking about this movie. Well, first of all, I just want to say that no matter how you feel about this movie, whether you like it or not, you have to respect Jordan Peele and what he was able to accomplish, which is two movies. Like, after Get Out, like, he was a household name, you know, like, after one feature-length movie, after he, his uh, uh, directorial debut, he became a star. And when Us was announced, um, people was already on board, like, even without seeing the trailer, you know, so you, you, gotta, you gotta give this man a lot of respect, um, the, the way he's doing things. And with this film, Us, Jordan Peele proves that he is one of the most exciting writers and director working today without a doubt it's almost like this man sit down with his team and ask what is going on in the horror in the thriller world these days what type of movie people are making these days and we're just not gonna do that we're gonna do something completely different i'm not saying that's what happened but that's what i think happened because with get out and now with us his movies, they are always super inventive, always super fresh, and you see things from a different point of view, and you see things from a very new, a very exciting vision. And it is very challenging these days to make a horror movie without all these tropes, without, you know, the things that you've seen a million times before. It's really hard to stay away from those things. You know, I'm not saying that Oz doesn't you know, fall into those tropes. I'm not saying that this movie is 100%, you know, original, because it's not. But the fact that he is, you know, reaching for that, the fact that he is actually trying to make something different, um, is very admirable. Lupita Nyong'o is so good in this movie that I kind of feel bad for her, because I can already tell that the Academy is just going to ignore her performance because they don't really do genre movie, especially horror movie. Last year, we all thought that uh, Tony Collette was going to win. I thought th Tony Collette uh, was going to win uh, for um, uh, Hereditary. She didn't even get nominated. I, sh I just don't get why the Academy, they, you know, more often than not, just look down upon genre movies. And that's really frustrating. Winston Duke. You know, M'Baku in Black Panther. He is he's he is the, you know, comic relief, but he's not just the comic relief, which is nice because there's a lot of depth and, you know, uh personality in his character. He's funny, he's really funny. Uh sometimes too funny for my taste. You know, sometimes I, I, I wish a certain scene could use a bit less humor. Um, but then again, it's a Jordan Peele movie, you know, with Winston Duke, who is a really funny dude. Um, so it's hard to stay away from that, but for the most part, he is really, really funny and provide a lot of, um, lighthearted moments, necessary lighthearted moments, um, in what is a really intense movie. I also really like the two kids. I did not get a chance to look at their names. They are excellent, um, especially the young boy. He has a lot of subtle... Like, his emotion and his acting has to be really subtle in this movie. Um, but I think he pulled it off really, really well. And also the girl, the the big sister. She, um... I think her part demand a lot of, like, physical acting. A lot of, uh... Um, like, running and a lot of, like, physical stuff. And I thought she did a really, really good job. And now because it is a Jordan Peele movie. And I feel weird saying that because this is only his second movie. But it is a Jordan Peele movie. And, you know... Obviously, I went in expecting, expecting a good movie, of course, but also expecting a little bit of a twist and turn, you know, a little bit of a, um, imagery, a metaphor. The metaphors and the foreshadowing in this film is just top-notch, um, which is why I think it would have benefited from a second viewing, because then you already know what to expect, and you just you know, look at the, the, the little details and just certain things that he put in the frame. I want to talk a little bit about the twist ending, um, or the twist before the ending. You know, I think to some people it would be very predictable, uh, and to some people it would be very unexpected. For me, like again, I, I said it in my initial thought uh, video, I was kind of tired, it's kind of sleepy uh, when I was watching it. 
it's not like it's not like I was like you know fucking dying, you know I was still awake, you know I was still conscious enough to like enjoy the movie, but I was a little tired. I just I was just sitting back, just relaxing, just watching the movie, you know I wasn't in my <laughs> fucking Roger Ebert mode. So for me, the twist ending, the the first time around. Was it? W- it was good. I did not see that coming. You know, the idea kind of you know crossed my mind in the beginning a little bit, but the movie did a really good job, sort of diverting me from uh, from that. You know, made me think like, oh, okay, that's 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 not gonna happen. But I feel like on a better day, I would have totally seen the coming. Like I, d- I don't mean that as a negative. Like that, that it does sound uh, bad, but I, I honestly I don't mean that as a negative at all. Um, I think the twist is is really it was really well executed and it worked really really well. Especially like again like I encourage you guys to go see the movie a second time, knowing what is going to happen and just like really pay attention uh, to uh, the little details and the little gesture from certain characters is really gonna help with you know with with that twist uh, uh, particularly overall i think us is such a fresh and original horror movie superbly written and directed by jordan peele beautifully acted especially uh, lupita nyong'o who gave one of the best performance might be the best performance uh, of her career um but then again it's a horror movie so it's probably not gonna get nominated for an oscar so that's a fucking bummer. In certain scenes, I could use a little bit less uh, humor and comedy, but for the most part, I think when the movie try to be funny, it's really funny. But when it's try to be, uh, you know, really horrifying, really scary, it absolutely succeeded. And I had a really, really good time watching us. I'm gonna give Jordan Peele's Us an eight out of ten. This man is on a roll. L- listen, with Get Out. And now us, he's two for two. And apparently the first season of uh, the Twilight Zone reboot uh, is really good. So I guess three for three. And before I wrap up this review, I just want to give a little plug to uh, the student group that I'm part of. It's called Studio U. It's a, a video producing, filmmaking, news covering student group at the University of Minnesota. Um, recently we... We um we put out a, a sketch comedy. Now this one I'm not in it, but I actually wrote and directed uh, this sketch comedy. It's called um, Fighting Words. It's about this one girl who went into this like underground uh, uh, secret society, expecting a fight club, but it turned out to be a uh, slam poetry. You know, people fighting each other with words. So it's called Fighting Words. Um, pretty clever, if you ask me. But anyway. I'll, I'll I'll leave the, the 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 link in the description box if you guys want to go ahead and you know go over there to uh, the Studio U uh, YouTube channel and check it out. Uh, feel free, and you know we would really love your support. You know I actually um I actually have the the script right here. Well, two of them. This is this is the uh, the first one that I wrote. It's like a first draft. Some of the connotation here, if you guys can see it, right? That's the script, and then we did a little bit of reshoot. So I I wrote. Um, like a second script, it's not it's not all that different from the first one, but you know I I wrote two scripts for this one, and then I I was on set directing, of course. So um, yeah, one step closer, just a little bit closer to Hollywood. So yeah, like I said, go over there to watch the videos if you are interested. Um, dig deeper, you know, like look for more videos from the the, the channel and watch them. Uh, I'm I'm actually in some of them. Hey guys, you got a chance to see us? Let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? And if you enjoyed my review, hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to see more reviews like this. And with that being said, I'll see you soon.